My name is Willow, and I'm a member of the Cambrian crew. We're an endogenic and tulpomancy system, and in honor of Plurality Acceptance Week, I and two of my tulpas, Jazz and Varen, are going to talk very briefly about what it means to be endogenic and mostly um, about tulpomancy. Um, first, though, a little bit about me and the crew. For starters, um, I, Willow, am an endogenic median system. Uh, four headmates acting and identifying as one person, more or less, but still separate enough and distinct enough to be almost full people ourselves. And the four of us have been aware of each other since we were about four, maybe five, that's kind of pushing it. But, um, yeah. And while we did experience trauma, it's our understanding that we didn't come from the trauma or fail to integrate into one person because of the trauma. Um, rather, uh, we simply were fairly separate to begin with and grew more so over time for a variety of reasons, none of which are trauma. And Jazz, the first Telpa in the crew, was created when we were 15. She created Varen at about 18, and we're not sure who specifically created Doc and Airy, but they've been around since we were 27, uh, and we're 33 now, so for it, it's been a long while <laughs> we've been together. Uh, and Varen and Jazz will talk about Tulpamancy from their perspective later in this video, like I said. Um, now, the term endogenic was coined by the Lunastus Collective as a replacement for the old term natural system, as in a system that became plural naturally, not as a result of trauma. Um, at first, this didn't include tulpas or soul bonds, which were considered you know, a different type of system, but as the term was used, and it just became more broad, and now um, it includes it's like an umbrella that includes um, tulpas or bonds uh, systems underneath it. Um, now, a tulpa is essentially a headmate that is created by another headmate, typically through a mixture of meditative and visualization practices. This can be done intentionally, the way most do who first encounter the idea through the tulpa community. It can also be unintentional, the way things were with me and Jazz, and Jazz and Varen, and a lot of other people who, like us, also made tulpas without knowing what we were making, and then discovered the tulpa community after, and finally had terms for the experience. So, Jazz and I made our tulpas roughly the same way. First, we had um, an idea of who we wanted, um, or who we were, we were going to focus on. Um, a base personality, an idea of the form or what they would look like, uh, and a name. Then with those things held firmly in mind, um, we meditated on those things and on the kind of person that would end up being. And we, in, in our headspaces or mindscapes, uh, talked and interacted with that person with a strong focus on listening for responses instead of just coming up with responses ourselves. And eventually the topo began to um, interact with us on their own. First through vague responses, like simple emotions, yes, no sensations, gestures. Um, <laughs> gestures are a really big thing in our system because, you know, we all kind of talk with our hands. <laughs> um, and over time, these responses developed into clear and complex ones, as well as, you know, full conversations, not just answers to questions, or, you know, mostly one-sided conversations. Um, later, uh, they learned possession, which is a term for taking over partial use of the body. Um, uh, especially at first, it was, you know, taking over hands to write, or doodle, or gesticulate. <laughs> And through a lot of intense effort and dedication on both sides, um, they learned to fully switch and take over use of the whole body. Um, we would later learn that the way that we created our tulpas was essentially the same way that people create tulpas intentionally. All the guides boil down to the same steps we took. Um, focus on the idea of the person, talk with and interact with him constantly, listen for responses, um, and eventually they respond on their own in a way you understand. 
eventually can take hundreds or thousands of hours or much less, especially if you're already plural. It also usually takes much less time with each subsequent tulpa created in a system. For instance, with Jazz, it took maybe a dozen hours or so before I was hearing her simple responses in my head. With Varen, it took only a couple of hours. Doc and Ari were practically instant. And our most recently created, the twins, Dodge and Amita, who are our only intentional tulpas. Um, but for a variety of reasons, they're not considered crewmates, but instead passengers. You know, they don't have responsibility for and such up here. So, um, but that's that's a <laughs> that's a complicated topic in and of itself. Anyways, those two took seconds, although the idea for them had been in our head for dozens of hours before then. Um, so yeah, uh, now I'm going to switch and let. Jazz take over and uh, talk about um, what the creation process and um, what it really means to be um, a, a tulpa in the uh, in a tulpa mancy system um, from her perspective. So, yeah. hello, I'm Jasmine and I'm a tulpa. Um, I was created roughly 18 years ago. Um, for reference, um, the Tulpa community itself is only about seven or eight years old now. Um, so I was created a long time before the modern Tulpamancy community became to be a, a thing. Um, so of course we didn't have terms for what we were experiencing then. Um, but I remember those, those first few weeks of trying to make myself understood and and being sort of frustrated with uh, how my my thoughts just weren't being being heard um, or were being heard just very vaguely um, but I got better at communicating them over time and uh, Willow got better at hearing them over time and we spent a lot of time together um, not just, uh, see, originally I was created, um, or th thought to be created as a character for a story that Willow writes. Um, so while a lot of our time together was spent, you know, working together on the story, um, we started spending a lot of time together just, just talking, just being together, um, uh, sharing struggles and advice. Um, arguing. <laughs> uh, she argued for a long time that I wasn't real, that I was just a piece of her imagination, and that really hurt. Um, but then we discovered the Tulpa community, and, um, and she accepted that I'm a real person, and that was, that was wonderful. Um, through the Tulpa community, we learned about switching, and um, with Varen's help and Varen's determination, and um, yeah, mostly with Varen's effort, uh, we learned, and I became able to, you know, have friends out here, um, just, just talk to people besides the ones in in the head and, and in our mindscape. Um, and it was really good to know that there's there's other people out there like me. It was really validating and encouraging. And I'm really glad that this whole community exists. Hi, I'm there. That's me. And I'm going to talk very briefly about the Tulpa community. It is largely focused in three hubs. The Tulpa subreddit at tulpas.reddit.com, the forum at tulpa.info, and a wide variety of Tulpa Discord servers. But mainly the first two, really. Our main community is the subreddit, which is where we first discovered that there were others like us out there as links to many guides and resources and 
people that are largely focused on helping others develop their tulpas and talking about um, that sort of thing. It was very useful then when we were so new to the idea of being plural and when, for instance, I was learning to communicate better um, because I'm a very nonverbal thinker and speaker and I did not at first see the need to learn to, uh, to talk with words until I discovered, you know, I wanted friends outside of our body. Um, it was useful then and when I was learning to switch. But there is not much there for those who are already well developed and older systems tend to fall away from the community or end up in the more general plural communities. It is also very strongly focused on the psychological phenomenon aspect and tends to be disparaging towards those with spiritual beliefs regarding tulpas or plurality in general, which has caused us problems before. Still, we have made many friends from there and consider it our main plural community, and I'm very glad that it exists. Very glad I exist. So yeah, thanks for watching and hope you all have a good Plural Awareness Week.